Hey guys, this is Sarah from Our Beauty, and if you want to see how I got this brown smoky eye using the infamous Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, then just keep on watching. I'm going to be going in for foundation with the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I have the shade Creamy Vanilla, and then I'm also going to be mixing that with Light Beige number three. <sighs> As much as I, I like this foundation and I like what it does for my skin, I will say this does not have an extensive shade range, like shade range. Um, so it would be really difficult for, you know, women of color. And actually, I'm really surprised I even could find anything because I'm very olive toned. One, and, oh god, I keep forgetting how full cover. I'm not going to do all this at all. Not really a full range, you know, but it is very, very full coverage. I like the way that this foundation blended out. Um, it did take a minute because it was so thick that it, I felt like it took me a little bit longer than like say my Wet n Wild, you know, but it is definitely much more full coverage in the Wet n Wild. Now I'm going to go in for concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape and I use the color Light Neutral. And this is also very full coverage, so we are, we are pushing the limits today. Okay, I'm not used to this like high impact of a, uh, but I kind of wanted to go a little more glam for this look. And I'm going to go into the Laura Mercier um, contour palette. And this has been obviously well loved, and I'm going to go into the number one shade, the lightest shade. And I'm going to go into this contour brush from the Morphe Gilded collection. This is the Y12. Like, I wish that it was in a, a stick. I find the sticks just are so easy, but it's a really good product nonetheless. And this is where I like to contour. Everybody has their own way of contouring, and you have to do what's right for your face shape and what's going to make your face look the most sculpted. So what I do to my face isn't necessarily what I'm going to recommend everybody to do to their face, just because I simply have a different face than you do. Get my forehead. For the contour, I do like to go in with this dense um, brush from Royal and Langer Nickel, the Complexion BMD 185 brush, and I like to just do this little twirling motion here. I think I've said this a million times now, but this dust, it can cause some micro exfoliation, but like I said, if you exfoliate pretty regularly, it's not something that I really have a problem with or oh, I've never seen it translate on my makeup. Harsh. For a chair, I'm going to use the Cody Airspun and bake. So I finished my concealer and I also did my eyebrows. Today, unlike most days, I carved out my eyebrows. It does make a very huge difference when you're going for a super glam look. What is this on my face? At least the ones that like right here on my nose and I'm going to keep the rest. I just want to get some of it off of where my nose is. I can't stand that like way too powdered, powdery look. Oh, I already set my my eye. Uh, Wet n Wild shade single shadow in the shade Creme Brulee, and I also like to use this to kind of blend out my shadows. It's a it's the perfect, perfect, perfect shade for that. It's actually the only thing that is missing, in my opinion, out of this Jaclyn Hill palette and I hate to say that because I love her but this palette is pure perfection the only thing is that it just doesn't have that cream shade but I went with just a brown eyeshadow look but you can see I have been playing 
with this palette and I adore you. Is I'm gonna go in with this little brown shade right here and I'm gonna kind of use that as my Next, I am gonna go in with that eyeliner and I'm just hitting it in the center. Take it like just about there, not any higher than that, and then I'm gonna take the Y18, which it's dirty because I just used it. And I'm gonna go in with this deepest brown shade here on the bottom row. Her palette doesn't have a lot of fallout at all, and I'm just gonna pat this over that eyeliner, and it's really just gonna melt together and make that right there super deep and then I'm just going to softly blend this out see how it, I mean it, look like I went from like that irregular shape to now it's it's really nicely blended and it's looking good see that now from here I'm going to take a denser blending brush, the Y15 from the Gilded Collection, and I am going to go in with this like chocolate brown shade here, and I'm going to kind of go right above where I'm hitting that. I'm going to do like a slow build on this outer edge here with just lighter and lighter colors, really going to help me to blend it out later. And I'm going to take this fluffier blending brush, the Y17, and I'm going to go in with this middle cop ray shade right here. And I'm going to swatch all of these in the end, so it's going to be a lot easier. And then I'm going to go over the top of all of this. I kind of tilt my head back just a little bit. And I take my time here. So you don't want your eye, you don't want that brown to get way, that dark brown way too high. So you want to be careful how you're moving the brush around and make that outer be just a little bit more prominent perfect oh so for the rest of my face i am going to go in with the physician's formula butter bronzer this needs no introduction this is my one of my no this is my favorite bronzer at the drugstore period but yeah like still controllable bronzer brush the y5 i don't really know if this is really a bronzer brush but that's what I use it for. Bronze up my face. It's just like the perfect bronzer. It's matte. It has no shimmer in it. it. Smells like a vacation. It makes me feel amazing every time that I use it. I never have a problem blending this out. It never gets patchy. It never gets dry or gray or weird. It doesn't make my you look like I have dirt on my face. It's just perfect. No other than the Milani Big Blush in the shade Luminoso. I used this on my on another video already. I mean, it is my blush addiction. It's really hard to get out of. I'm gonna do my little shady smile. So actually start with the Morphe Y21. This is just an eyeliner brush. And I'm going to go in with that deepest brown right there. And I'm really going to get close to my inner lash line here. Okay, so I just finished smoking out the um, lower part of my lash line. And now I am applying my brow bone highlight. I used the second color in this palette right here. It's got a nice yellowy undertone. And it really does a great job. So I placed the shadow right underneath my eyes and then I take a like a fluffy flat brush this is a real techniques brush and I just skim I just skim over my eye the highlighter that I'm going to be putting on my face so I'm going to use the master chrome in the gold I mean if you've never seen this I mean I'm sure you have it's like everywhere I mean you just can't I don't know how they did it how did they do that anyway so I'm going to take this on a fan brush, I'm gonna highlight my damn face. And this is without putting any spray on my face. My face is the Sahara Desert dry right now. And I'm gonna change that in a minute. 
But I'm putting this on, I'm going to spray my face, I'm going to rub it in with a beauty blender, beauty sponge. It's not a beauty blender, it's an Eco Tools sponge, but I seem to like to call every beauty sponge a beauty blender. I guess I wish I had it like that, but I don't. Stuff like this like makes me excited. Highlighter, every time, highlighter can make me super duper excited about a look. You see that beacon of light on my freaking face right now? Then I'm gonna take that small pencil brush that I use for my brow bone and go in with this highlighter and just get my inner corner nice and golden. So I'm using the Flower Seal the Deal. This is my new favorite um, setting spray. Hey, Mister. Right. It's just so fine that it's incredible. Now I'm going to take my beauty sponge and I'm going to pat all over my face because my face is super duper dry right now because of all of that powder that we put on before. So like I promised, I'm going to the highlighter and I'm just going to hit the high, highest, highest points with my face nice and moist. I'm going to go in with a nude eyeliner, just the Rimmel Scandal. So I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Bare to Commit. Or bear to comment. Comment. I'm going to go in with the Rimmel First Class Nude. All right, guys. This is the finished makeup look. I really love how it turned out. I, as promised, am going to swatch some of the shades for you guys. I have to tell you guys, I have not been this into an eyeshadow palette in a long, long time. And not only because of like how nice the eyeshadows are, but also how how inexpensive and how like she made it just really attainable for anybody to buy it and I really appreciate that. And I love her personality and I watch all of her videos. So without further ado, I'm only going to swatch just a few of these. So I'm definitely gonna do the brow highlight that I did earlier. Because I feel like that's the there's nothing on my finger. I did not wet my fingers. Do you see that shadow? Do you see it? That's on my that's on my raw bone. That's why I was so shook it. I'm gonna go in with one of these matte brown brownie transition shades. Just look how buttery these eyeshadows are. Do you see that? Like, can you see it? It is fully, fully pigmented. Um, and then I'm going to go into this beautiful shade right here. Just look at it. There's nothing on my finger. Do you, do you not see that? I mean, it blows me away. Like, these are really comparable to really, really high-end eyeshadows. I mean, hats off to Jacqueline Hill. Jesus. Okay, what else? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna swatch this mustard shade. This is a hard shade. It's a really also the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette has a beautiful mustardy shade. Do you see that? Let's do a deeper brown. Those are hard to do. This coppery brown. I really like this one. You already know it's gonna be good. You see? I'm gonna go in with this um like bronzy gold shade here. I mean, under who told Jack? Who told you, Jacqueline, to blow me away like like this with these freaking palettes? 
and I just heard today I just watched her video and she's coming out with more palettes and you better believe I'll be picking those palettes up. Oh, this is um, the shade that she said it took her forever, so she named it Obsessed, and I am obsessed with the shade also. Boom. I think I'm gonna go into this beautiful blue shade right here, and I actually did a really cool look with this, and it was in my intro video. I didn't do a video on it, but look at that blue. Look at that blue. Well guys, there you have it. This is the Brown Smoky Eye using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I hope that you guys appreciate this video and that you guys really like how my look turned out. I really, really like it. So if you guys wanna see more looks like this, more tutorials and more reviews, then just don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, you wanna hit the post notification bell so you can see every single time that I upload a video. And if you want me to review anything, if you um, have any questions or anything like that, or um, even if you just want to leave me some love down in the comments, I could sure use it. That would be great. Um, so thanks again, and I wish you guys all the best, and I will see you next time.